Nina, one of the things I love about the Bernina is how many presser feet we have. I agree with you, Susan. And I have people all the time that say, you mean I have to use all those presser feet? And I say, no, you get to use those presser feet because those presser feet are what make it easy to sew and what make the results more professional. If you're ever having trouble with the sewing technique, take a look at the presser foot and see if there's a different one that will handle the job better. Well, it's like this belting on this purse, Susan. I always have a hard time keeping that top stitching straight. It just wants to wobble underneath my foot. Mm -hmm. Well, I have the perfect foot for that, and it's not one that you would guess because it's called the piping foot number 38. Mm -hmm. And it does make piping. It does a great job at making little mini piping, but I use it for any time I have an uneven sewing surface. If I have a thick and a thin where the foot would normally wobble, I go to my foot 38 because it has a thick edge and a thin edge, and it will even out that surface. So even tape like this, putting, this decorative tape. Yes, putting heavy you put trims. It on with that yes, foot. yes, and I know that you have a favorite name for this. Well, I call it the Velcro foot. <laughs> it does an excellent job at sewing Velcro, and that's what we're going to show you today. But it, it works any time that you have a thick side and a thin side that you need to, to level out. So we're going to put the foot on the machine. Now, one thing that you do have to remember is that this is a straight stitch only foot. You'll only forget that one time because you will break your needle if you don't. Remember that it is straight stitch center needle position. I have a little wallet that I've started and I've already stitched one side on and you can see how nice and even it is mm -hmm. when if you're not using a foot like this you usually have a very irregular stitch. And you know what else I notice? There are no skip stitches. That's right. And many times when you have uneven surfaces you're, you get a skip stitch. You do. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do the other side of the velcro or hook and loop tape and what we want to do is put the, the tape under the thin edge of the foot. Mm -hmm. And that means that the thick edge will ride right against that edge and that's what gives us the nice even stitching. I'll just back stitch a couple of stitches to secure it. And when you get to the corner you're going to sink your needle and pivot just like you do for any type of rectangle that you're sewing. And that edge still hugs the edge of the tape, the, the thick edge of the foot will hug the edge of the tape as you go around. And we finish up, and do a back stitch, and then I have one more thing to show you using this foot. What's this? Well, I'm going to finish the wallet and I put, turn it up, and I've already turned and faced this so that all the edges are finished. But when I turn this up so that I can complete the wallet, I want to sew the side edges and you can see how thick this is mm -hmm. and we're going right next to nothing. So what I can do is put, again, the thick edge, the double edges under there and I will be edge stitching right along the side to secure the sides of the wallet. So we'll just finish the second side of the wallet using piping foot 38 for that uneven edge. So that's all there is to it, Nina. It was quick and easy. And all because we had the right foot. So if you want to see this presser foot and other presser feet from Bernina, go to your local Bernina dealer.